La Plaga's getting ready to flee the country with his big brother. We can't let that happen. Take out La Plaga before he gets away. Where's his house? La Plaga's making a run for it. We kill him now so we don't have to kill him later. Move quickly, but don't rush. Opening fire. Fuck. We're made. What the fuck is that? It smoke? It smells more like crack rock. Say what you will about La Plaga. Dude knows how to throw a going away party. Get down! Uh, uh. Lieutenant is escaping. Hold on. We're not letting this fucker escape, hear me? Running out. The Plaga's got nowhere left to run. We start taking fire, you put him down first chance you get. What the hell are you doing? Take cover! Plaga down. Repeat, the plague is dead. It's only a matter of time before El Moro finds out his little brother's gone. Hopefully we can deliver the news in person. Since his rise to power, El Sueño has been responsible for more than 7,000 murders, 12,000 kidnappings, and 17,000 disappearances. So then how the fuck is he one of the most loved people on the goddamn internet? I mean, this piece of shit has more likes than the World Cancer Society. How does that even happen? Well, one reason would be Ramon Feliz, Santa Blanca narco blogger. Feliz wasn't always like this. He used to be a real journalist. Working the crime beat for a Mexican newspaper, he wrote about the cartels. Until the cartels started targeting journalists. Forced to choose between reporting the news and their employees, the newspapers made a hard decision. They stopped reporting on the cartels. So Raymond Feliz went underground. With anonymity on his side, he started a blog, and he went after Santa Blanca. Hard. Maybe too hard. Sueño hired hackers from a number of top universities and had them track down Feliz. Things only went downhill from there. Nowadays, Ramon Feliz no longer writes about Santa Blanca. Ramon Feliz writes for Santa Blanca.
Ramon Felice has turned whistleblower and has revealed the existence of a child trafficking ring run by the cartel. Get to Felice and find out what he knows before El Sueño has him killed. is dead. Fucking savages. His data should be somewhere around here. Shit, the hard drive is missing. Bowman, Feliz is dead and his hard drive's gone. The murder made quite a goddamn mess, didn't he? How the hell did you know that? Because the moron just tweeted a selfie of himself at the scene. He geotagged the photo in the tweet, sending you the location. Get there fast and see if you can recover Felice's hard drive before it's destroyed. On our way. our killer. We need that hard drive. Take him alive. Fuck your mother, cabron! We're clear over here. God, these fuckers are sloppy. Got you, you sick fuck. What are you talking about? I didn't do nothing. You took a selfie with your victim, you idiot. You saw that? Fucking badass, right? You think that was badass? What do you see what I do to you? Hint, it involves a wire hanger and a whole lot of electricity. Chingado, man. What do you want? Ramon Felice's hard drive. Now. That shit? Man, I already dropped it off with those hacker nerds. Not far from here. Let's grab that hard drive fast before Santa Blanca wipes it. Plug the key into it and are uploading the data to you now. Excellent. According to Feliz's blog, Santa Blanca is snatching Bolivian children and sending them to Brazil, Argentina, and... Got some questions for you, asshole. It's Nomad again. Okay, okay. There's this one thing I heard about. I'm back, Bowman. What happened? Wait, you know what? Never mind. Excellent. According to Feliz's blog, Santa Blanca is snatching Bolivian children and sending them to Brazil, Argentina, and Mexico as slave labor. Now we can make his proof public. Nobody sympathizes with child traffickers, not even drug traffickers.
Katrine Svensson, La Gringa. How does a PhD from MIT end up as the chief chemist of the Santa Blanca cartel? Like all cynics, she started out as an idealist. La Gringa came to Bolivia to help the people. The poor, the downtrodden, the sick. She loved them, and they loved her. Working for an NGO called Hands Over Bolivia, she did research to develop a new vaccine for yellow fever. It was meant to be produced easier and cheaper, making it more readily available to more people in a shorter time. Then, disaster struck. She lost all her funding and was vilified by the scientific community. Of course, La Gringa hadn't been involved in the scandal, but it didn't matter. She lost everything. After that, well, you know what? Thanks to the NSA's prison program, we can hear it in her own words. How much did you earn, Sonrisa? 40,000 a year. I spend more on my dogs. I will pay you a hundred times what you were making. To do what? Quality control. Working from Okoro, you can develop the best, most potent, most pure cocaine in the world. I came here to help people survive. La gringa, my darling. How do you think the people survive? El Sueño's discovered that La Gringa's been cutting the purity of her cocaine, and he sent his people to kill her. Get to La Gringa and bring her in. She's got nowhere else to go. Your village is just up ahead. Let's hustle and get to La Gringa before the cartel does. Right behind you, boss. There's got to be some intel we can dig up around here. house. What's going on? Are you? What do you want? We're your way out of this mess, understand? But we've got to move right fucking now. I won't get far. Not like this. I know someone. He lives in a village not far from here. The rebels, they take their wounded to him when they can. How old do you know that rebel doctor? He won't talk to the cartel. If that's what you're afraid of. They don't scare him. He's the bravest guy I know. We met when I was working with the NGO. The fake NGO. He was the local guy. And a few years and a few tons of coke later, he introduces you to the rebels. He needed medicine and vaccines. I have more. I don't get you. What do you get out of playing both sides? Oh, hell if I know. I came to Bolivia to help people. That's all I was trying to do. Opening fire. Gotta hold on, Green Gun. We've still got a ways to go. I don't know about that. We're going, going to talk. Is she gonna make it? She'd better. We're in your house. Double the hair! I'm gonna take a medical phone! 
Weapons free, weapons free. Up. Let's get back to work. Get ready. Fire. I have a shot. Engage. Quit on me now, Lee. Sight's just up ahead. American type magic. Look, anyone with any real. Who are you? What do you want? You know this woman? What happened? Believe me, Doc, it's better if you don't know. She's got a GSW to the shoulder. Can you help her? Si, por supuesto. Leave her with me. I'll do everything I can. We'll buy you all the time we can, but you need to work fast. I've got a feeling Sueño's not done with her yet. Contact. Sueño sent another crew after us. Take him down. Copter inbound. Copter, get down. I'm opening fire. Given the dock all the time we can. One way or another, we're getting like Ringa out of here. Okay, Gringa, time to go. Please, just give me a minute. The cocktail the dock just gave you? I bet you can't even feel your face, let alone that bullet. We're leaving. You feel like you're gonna keel over a puke? Just look at the horizon. It'll keep you steady. I got it. I'll fly. Let's go. Let's go. Get back on mission. 
Tarty wants to send them to protect me. I feel cold. I'm starting to feel cold. We're at the extraction point. Let's get her to Bowman and call for a dust off. Oye, gracias. We don't sit ever on the run the cartel. It's called tactical field care. Stop being such a pussy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here. Open it. Open it. Her extract is ten minutes oh, out. Fucking hell. I'll be glad to be rid of this whiny bitch. Your little clinic might have bought you some redemption with the rebels, but that crap doesn't play for me. But with a set of lungs like yours, you're gonna be a big hit in prison. Why don't you just let me die? The thought had crossed my mind. But five years from now, ten, hell, maybe even fifty years from now, when I'm so old I can't even wipe my own ass, it's gonna make me happy to think of little Mousy La Gringa and all those nasty friends she made in prison. I don't care. I'm happy to go to your prison. A lifetime, ten lifetimes in prison is better than Sueño. Your worst could never compare to his. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Baquita's is love. A smuggler from the age of six, El Baquita's father used to tape Acapulco gold on his son's body and then send him across the border. He called these trips vacaciones familiares, family vacations. By the time he was 13, Baquita was a trapeciador, a master smuggler. Cigarettes, alcohol, name brand clothes, DVDs, oil, wildlife, weapons, and of course, people. One time, he even smuggled in half a kilo of yellow cake uranium. If someone wanted it, El Baquito could move it. But it was never really about the money. For him, it was the rush. Until he met the beauty queen. Nydia Flores saw his talent and made him her right-hand man. Nydia was the brains. Baquita was the brawn. The thing is, he was head over heels from the moment he yeah, first laid eyes on her. Nydia never felt the same way, but one drunken night she gave in. A little bit of sperm roulette, and nine months later, they had a daughter, Valeria. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Bukita has two. We've got intel on a convoy of trucks loaded with cash heading to cartel bosses in Mexico. El Boquita is believed to be leading the convoy. Intercept the trucks and destroy them, and if possible, take out Boquita as well. There are a lot of lights and switches up here. Let's ride.
Okay, we're cool. There's the informant. Let's hear what he's got to say. Bowman says you've got something for me. It's gonna cost double this time. Take it up with her. Tell me what you got, and I'll put in a good word for you. Okay, it's like this. El Boquita's jammed up, and he's gotta get a shitload of money up to the bosses in Mexico, so he's running a big convoy up there tonight. How big? A couple of armored trucks for the cash, maybe half a dozen armored cars, maybe even a couple of helicopters. Serious shit. Where's the convoy? I don't know. El Boquita's being cautious as fuck. Only he and the drivers know the route. That's not good enough. I need a location. How about this? I know where you can find El Boquita. He's here in Kiwani to make sure the convoy gets through. You follow him, he'll take you straight to the money. Roger, let me get in position. Target acquired. Drone is airborne. Let's let me get into position. Tango. Eyes on the target. I got target Moving to a better position. Guns. Ready to fire. Got it. Down. Down. They're gonna see you. Bowman, we've got eyes on El Boquita. We'll tail him to the money. Roger that. We've got a tap on his cell phone. If he makes a call, says anything about the money or the convoy's route, you'll be able to... Looks like the local rebels are gearing up for something. First person to Let's call go. me Mandona. Then it was the other niños at school. As I got older, it was boyfriends, co-workers. And let's be honest, my mother has never stopped calling me Mandona. Lydia, amor, I'm almost there. Listo. As long as they get their money, the investors will be happy. They won't care how the cash gets to them. And that doesn't mean this isn't crazy. There must be a better way. There is no other way. We don't have time for any other way. You know you're the only man who can pull this off. I, I know you're just buttering me up, but I like it. <laughs> Igual, te amo. Let me speak con mi niña. Hundreds of Papi, are you coming home? Pronto, chaparita. I have to take a trip. You be good girl and listen to your mama. Can I have a puppy? I, I want a small, brown, cute one, or maybe yellow. Nena. You can have anything you want when I get home. Papa loves you very much. Okay, bye. Adios, mija. Va a ser mucho calor hoy por la tarde. Va a ser parecido por dos o tres días hasta jueves cuando la lluvia viene por la noche y hace mucho calor. Bowie, we found the convoy. I count at least three heavy vehicles, one helo. We need to keep those money trucks from reaching Mexico. Just as important, we need to take out El Boquita. Killing him will destroy Sueño and Nidia's relationship. Roger that. Just about everywhere we go and throw left. Got him. HVT is down. Say again, El Boquita is dead. Make this harder than it has to be. Get down. I'm in. Let's roll. Oh, 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 oh,
Ready? Fire, fire, fire. We'll go. Engage targets. Thanks. 